Good morning, guys. I'm getting ready to show you the scariest thing that I, it's just driving me crazy. And I gotta start somewhere with it. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Get ready. Look at this pantry. This thing is a disaster area. Complete disaster area. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I should probably plug in my microphone. Um, yeah, a mess. And I've been putting off doing this because it's been such nice weather and I want to be outside as much as I can. But today it's crappy out. It's rainy, gross. So here we go. We're gonna just start and see where we can get. So there you go. It's pretty embarrassing, really. Um, yes, I'm thankful we have food. It's not that I'm not thankful, <laughs> honestly. Um, I'm very thankful that we have money to buy food, to pay our bills. My husband is considered essential, so he is working. And so we've been able to buy some food. We jumped on the uh, special that a uh, big box store um, around here, it's called BJ's Wholesale, uh, warehouse or something like that. It's a big food place like Sam's or like your Costco type places. Uh, $25 for a year membership. I went a few weeks ago, bought a bunch of things, coffee, um, pancake mix, rice. Um, what else did I get? Big jug of oil. Bisquick. I love Bisquick because I love making the, the biscuits out of Bisquick, especially, you know, when you're having a quick meal and you're like, oh, I feel like I want some biscuits with this or something. If you don't have the ones in the tubes, Bisquick is so quick and easy. Uh, and so I love it. Um, I don't know if I showed you. I got, I ordered more bags on uh, Amazon for my food saver, the big round bags. Um, hang on, let me go grab them. Okay, so it's a two pack of the Food Saver bags. Sorry, it's probably covering up my microphone. Two pack of the Food Saver bags. See that? It's pretty huge, um, 11 inch by 50 feet. So there's two of those in there. Um, I like buying the big rolls that you can make your own um, bag, size bags out of. Um, the pre-made bags work great, but if you don't know what you're putting in them, uh, from day to day or f whenever. Um, these are really good because like, you can make your own. All right, so there's those. Um, and I ordered some oxygen absorbers right here. There's 80 in there. So this is what they look like when you open them. They're in a sealed package and they come in this uh, Mylar bag um, I've got some in there. I've already opened, so I'm trying to keep it nice and sealed. So I just left this one out. It comes in the 40 in each package. Uh, so um, I thought I'd leave this out because it says on there, use in 30 minutes after unpacked. Um, you don't want to leave these out in the air because they are oxygen absorbers. They will oxygen absorbers. I can say it <laughs> not three times fast, but I can say it. Um, so it's from Fresh and Fresh. I have no idea. Amazon. I'll put links down below. One other note before I get done. Those uh, absorbers. Let me show you. These are 100cc absorbers. So while I'm talking about this, I'm going to have a chart that's going to pop in here. 
Um, there's all different cc's of absorbers and you're going to want to look up and see depending on if you decide to do this how many you're going to need per cc for whatever you're packaging up. If you're doing a five gallon pail and you're just putting it all in that pail um, and not separated, mine are, mine are going to be separated packages kind of like this. So I'm going to take one out and put it in there. Um, but if you're going to do a five gallon pail of like a big mylar bag of um, flour, say, um, you're going to want to put, they recommend, 20 of these 100 cc um, oxygen absorbers in there. All right, here's my big box of Aunt Jemima. And here's the bag that I made. I did not measure what size bag this is. I have no clue. Um, it's, it's just big enough to do the job. And then I usually write, you know, you want to write what it is. If there is a recipe, which Aunt Jemima, you just add water to, but it does have, you mix two cups, mix with one and a half cups water. And then I usually date it, today's 10 to 20. And so you want to make sure you leave some room. So that you can um, seal that up. And oh, that's got a hole in it. Didn't realize that. I don't know where that came from. Alright, so we're gonna take that out, and I got a little slit here in the top take one absorber out. That's all I'm using. Um, it probably says uh, on the chart how much to use. This would be probably like per gallon bag. But it's 100 cc. That'll take care of it, I think. Whatever it is. It's going to be sealed. There. You just want to keep those closed up as much as possible, as much air out of them. So this is a tractor supply bucket. We were having trouble finding buckets. Um, it's food grade, heavy duty, BPA free. Uh, it was only like $3 and change. Let me show you if I can reach it. They also have these gamma lids, gamma seal lids. And so this fits a three and a half to seven gallon bucket. And then it shows you on here how it goes, but I'll show you. So I like these because they screw off. So every time you need to get into it, all you have to do is unscrew it. Um, I don't like the buckets that seal and it makes it hard. You have to have a tool or you have to pry it open. Uh, my hands just can't take that. I can't do that. So this is the ring just like a regular bucket ring, except the middle is taken out and you put it on here and you push down. I'm going to have, yeah, maybe I can do it. I don't know. I'm going to have Scott do it, I think. But um, anyway, it goes on like that, nice and tight. It seals right up. You got to, I don't know if you got to push it down and then, or hammer it down. I'm not really sure, but I'll have Scott do it. It just says snap adapter ring to the bucket to seal spin lid clockwise. So this is the lid and you just spin it, spin it till it's tight. I don't want it too tight because I won't be able to open it. Today my hands aren't too too bad, they're a little sore so I have arthritis. 
so I don't like things really tight because I can't get them open and it's very frustrating so uh, that just closes on there and then anytime you're like hey I want some pancake mix you undo the seal and everything's sealed in bags in there so you don't have to worry about opening it and letting in bugs and and dirt and uh, compromising whatever is in there so oh, yep there we go there's pancake mix I'm just gonna go take this and make it so um, that works really well um, but you can buy big big bag big mylar bags that would fit this bucket and you could fill it with your rice your flour whatever it could be just one particular item I'm gonna put whatever I have in here and I'll probably put some kind of a label on it that says what's in here so that I don't have to go opening up every single one but yeah these were I can't remember if I told you seven and change and these are three and change so right around 10 11 bucks you can have a bucket that'll hold this will hold quite a bit more food I can fit a lot I can fit some more down in and some on top and have it go right up until you know it reaches this the bottom of this rim and I'll still be able to put my lid on nice and tight um, so I was pretty excited about finding those because we've been looking for buckets just to replace buckets outside that we have uh, for sand and and whatnot and we couldn't find them but when I found these and I didn't realize tractor supply had these gamma lids so um, I had to get them that's what I'm doing on this rainy day um, is trying to clean up my pantry a little bit and get some stuff off the shelves it's already got a few empty spots so I'll have room for other things like subscribe share hit the bell for more videos to come and take care and we'll see you next time bye And now I have room for activities. Put food in there. And I can put food up there. In front of that, there's all this room here. Look at that. There's a room down bottom. For more beer and soda pop. There's all kinds of room.